Hi, this is Kevin Proboda, General Manager of Lake Mission Viejo Association with an update on our efforts to find a new water supply source for Lake Mission Viejo. The recent rains have done little to alleviate California's severe drought. This graphic shows drought conditions in October on the left, before the storms, and in mid-January. As you can see, most of California remains in a very severe drought condition. In fact, experts say it will take a hundred storms like the ones we had in December to bring the state's water supplies back to normal levels. As a result of the drought, our water supplier, Santa Margarita Water District, may begin receiving reduced allocations later this year and have to declare a stage three drought emergency. We also understand that state agencies responsible for determining the amount of Northern California water that is exported to Southern California may prohibit the use of drinking water or potable water in recreational lakes like Lake Mission Viejo. Why is this important? It's because we lose about 600 acre feet of water every year to evaporation and natural seepage. Mother Nature helps replace much of what's lost, but depending on how much rain we get, we have to buy between 150 and 350 acre feet of water every year from Santa Margarita Water District. The water we buy is the same potable water that you buy from the Water District. To put our average annual purchases of about 200 acre feet into perspective, it takes about 400 acre feet to irrigate an 18 hole golf course in Orange County. The drought has made us all more sensitive to water use, and it's certainly made it clear to the association's board of directors that putting that much drinking water into the lake just isn't a sustainable practice anymore. Even if it didn't look like our potable supply might be cut off, it would be prudent to find a more responsible way to keep the lake's water level where it needs to be to support our popular boating, fishing, and swimming activities. That's why we're working with SMWD to evaluate possible alternatives to potable water. With their help, we've narrowed the field of possible new supplies to five and given them a preliminary ranking. The ranking is based primarily on long-term sustainability, water quality, and cost, and could change as more information becomes available to us. Here they are, highest rated first. Advanced purified water is recycled water that has received additional levels of treatment. The recycled water produced by SMWD receives three levels of treatment called tertiary treatment and is quite clean. In fact, the state and the Orange County Health Care Agency both have determined that tertiary treated recycled water can be used as is in recreational lakes like Lake Mission Viejo. Even so, before we would put this water in our lake, we would run it through additional stages of treatment like reverse osmosis and ultrafiltration to provide additional assurance for swimming and to limit the addition of nutrients to the lake that could cause algae blooms or other undesirable plant growth. Additional treatment could also help to lower the lake's salt content, which may help to control the golden algae that has attacked our fish. Advanced purified water could be treated to such a high level, in fact, that it could actually improve the lake's water quality. Another interesting alternative is called an irrigation offset. Here we would pay to get recycled water infrastructure extended to irrigation water users so they can switch from potable to recycled water. In return for footing the bill, we would receive a credit for an amount of potable water equal to what the irrigation users have been using. Next up are two parallel options, finding a new local supply or a new regional supply that can deliver enough water of sufficient quality to meet our needs. Frankly, we're having trouble finding a local or regional project that will meet our needs, but we're still looking. The final option we're looking at would involve Santa Margarita Water District purchasing imported fresh water that has not yet undergone the filtration and disinfection needed to bring it up to drinking water standards and deliver it to the lake. This would require building a new pipeline since there's no nearby source of untreated imported water, so this option could be very expensive. Since we began discussing lake refill options with association members in December, most of the comments I've received have been from folks who agree that we need to find a source to replace potable water. That's exactly what we're doing, working closely with Santa Margarita Water District to gather more information on the cost, water quality, and viability of the five options. We've also heard from a few association members who think we should not buy any water at all and just let the lake's elevation end up where it may. Let's look at why this option isn't a viable one. 
First, the association's governing documents require that the recreational uses of the lake be maintained, and doing that requires purchasing water. Here's why. If we don't, by sometime next summer, water levels will likely drop so much that docks and other lakeside infrastructure would become unusable, sustaining damage in the millions of dollars. And the thousands who use our beaches every year would find mud, not sand. Not purchasing water would also cause property values to drop because they benefit not just from lake views, but also from access to the association's many recreational facilities and entertainment events. That's why it's so important to find the best alternative to potable water for our lake. Your board of directors will evaluate the information we gather with Santa Margarita Water District and listen to comments from delegates and members at upcoming board meetings and decide how best to move forward. Our board meetings are open to all members and are held on the second Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. at the association's offices. Thanks for your interest and staying informed. For more information, please go to lakemissionviejo.org.